earthquakes, tsunamis, and other disasters are like time bombs for human life, ready to go off at any moment. A big question I have is whether it's possible for cities in the future to be disaster resistant or to emerge from energy crises. The answer is yes, and such modern projects have already begun in many countries. Saudi Arabia has looked far into the future to break its dependency on oil. Since 2005, Saudi Arabia has embarked on massive construction projects, one of which is the King Abdullah Economic City. The goal is to shift Saudi Arabia's business orientation from oil to urban enterprise. This city is being developed over an area of 66.8 square miles, situated along the Red Sea coast, 62 miles north of Jeddah. The city boasts six zones, a port zone, industrial zone, central business district, seafront resort zone, educational zone, and residential zone. It is also equipped with the high-speed Haramain Railway, capable of speeds up to 300 kilometers per H, about 186 miles per hour, complemented by luxurious facilities. Simply put, whatever people imagine about an ideal life can be found in the King Abdullah Economic City. It is a paradise for job seekers, planning to accommodate 2 million people and providing 1.3 million jobs. Guess how much it costs to build this city? $53 billion USD, making it one of the largest megaprojects in Saudi Arabia. Flying from Saudi Arabia over Iraq and Iran to Azerbaijan south of Baku City, there's an artificial archipelago consisting of 41 islands covering 7,413 acres, known as the Khazar or Caspian Islands. This artificial island features skyscrapers, 150 schools, 50 hospitals, childcare centers, parks, malls, cultural centers, universities, horse racing tracks, and its landmark, the Azerbaijan Tower, touted to be the tallest in the world. To improve accessibility, 150 bridges are being constructed, along with a major airport that will connect the islands to the mainland. This city represents an ultra-modern futuristic dream for many. It is designed to accommodate one million residents. And something you should know, all the facilities on these islands are designed to withstand earthquakes up to nine on the Richter scale. If everything goes as planned, it could be completed by 2025. The progress is already visible with several skyscrapers partly constructed. Actually, this project began in 2011, but unfortunately, it faced delays in 2015 when oil prices fell and the developing company got embroiled in legal issues. The project resumed in 2020, reportedly with investors from China filling the funding gap. Want to know the total cost of funding? $94, 5 billion USD. There's also a future city in the northeast of Kuwait, part of the Kuwait Vision 2035 named Silk City. It covers an area of 250 square kilometers with a budget of about $110 billion USD. Initially, this city was intended as a solution to Kuwait's overpopulation and infrastructure issues. What does this city offer? A skyscraper, Burj Mubarak Al Kabir, standing at 1,001 meters and claimed to be the world's tallest, will be built here. It will also feature an international airport, Olympic Standard Stadiums, retail outlets, entertainment facilities, residential areas, and employment opportunities for 700,000 people. This project is being developed in phases, starting with the Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmad Al Sabah Causeway project that connects North Kuwait to Kuwait City, one of the largest and most challenging projects in the world, underway since 2019. In Abu Dhabi, due to the government's concern about climate change, Mazdar City is being developed. It operates on the principle of being 100% green and carbon emission free, meaning it operates without CO2 emissions. There's no energy derived from petroleum. Everything is powered purely by solar energy. Cars, air conditioning, lighting, all utilize solar power. A modern, magnificent plaza is also under construction, intended to house around 1,500 environmentally friendly businesses. However, the downside is that the city has yet to be completed. 
It's not just an idea. The execution has stalled. Originally planned to be in use from 2016, the initial budget for the city's construction was an impressive $18 billion USD. The reason given by the developers is the crisis, pushing the project's completion to 2030. For now, about 80% of the buildings are completed. India is not falling behind the Middle East in its ambitions. It's developing a greenfield smart city, a term used for undeveloped land named Gujarat International Finance Tech City, or Gift City. Located along the Sabarmati River, it's about 12 kilometers from the Sardar Valla Bhai Patel International Airport. The city is being constructed over an area of 359 hectares, with the plan allocating 67% for commercial buildings, 22% for residential areas, and the remaining 11% for social facilities, following an integrated development model. The construction process is divided into three phases and is ongoing. The first phase, including office spaces, residential buildings, schools, hotels, and clubs, has already commenced. By 2021, around 225 companies began operations, and more than 12,000 professionals were employed in the city. Gift City is expected to be completed by the end of 2023, with a total investment of $33 billion USD. However, among all the mega projects we've discussed, I believe this one is the most revolutionary. Due to its location at the convergence of four tectonic plates, Japan once proposed constructing a skyscraper buried underground. Unfortunately, this construction plan never materialized due to economic and political setbacks. Now, Japan is envisioning an even more advanced project, an arcology pyramid over Tokyo Bay that would house business centers, parks, and other services. This building would stand two kilometers tall, twice the height of Burj Khalifa, cover an area of 4.8 square kilometers, and could accommodate up to one million people. The idea draws inspiration from the millennia-old Great Pyramid of Giza, which remains standing to this day. The megacity pyramid proposed by Shimizu Corporation is claimed to be resistant to earthquakes, tsunamis, and the strong winds that frequently hit Japan. Thanks to its construction from carbon nanotube tubes and special concrete pillars, However, construction is slated to begin in 2030 and is rumored to take up to 80 years. If successful, it could go down in history as the largest megaproject ever undertaken.